do cops ever come to talk to you guys or they don't care? The cops are assholes. We'll figure out, you know, the, the pros and the cons, and I promise you the cons are going to way outweigh the pros. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, stay away from it. Don't hang out with people that do it because I promise you there's no happy medium the first time you try it. That's it. That's it. That's it. You get hooked to it. You get hooked to it and you can't get out. Yep, it's like potato chips. You can't have just ah. you're going to keep the whole bag. <laughs> You'll say, let me, let me, let me. Like, um, is she gonna have a problem with the recording? She said, I don't think she'll be fine. I I'm not doing it. Like, um, I'm very friendly person. For me to talk to you, it shows me the heart I have to spread the story. At least your story can change anybody else. Right. It can instill hope and change to someone else, right? Because people just pass me with cars. And you have seen people recording in the cars, right? I don't like that. I like to come on the ground and talk to people. Feel they are part of, you know, the pinch, the pain, you know. Okay guys, I'm here by the Allegheny and uh, Kensington train station. I'm just running around to get around in the surrounding and see how everything goes around here. So if you allow me, please come with me so we can check it out.
the assholes. Yeah, I mm -hmm. talked to them one day and asked them, you know, what is your plan for all of this? And they mm -hmm. basically said survival of the fittest. Like, you know, the life expectancy when you're doing xylazine every mm -hmm. day is right. about five to ten years. They're basically mm -hmm. hoping that, you know, the weak ones are going to kill themselves off and the smart ones are going to get clean and leave. Okay. Wow. Wow. So basically they just want to sweep Do you have siblings? I got a half sister, but how does she feel? Does she also do drugs? Uh, no, she's thirteen now. Oh, she's a baby. Yeah. Oh, okay. What would you think would be would she would feel if knowing what you're doing? She'd be disappointed, and I'd be disappointed in myself because I should be her role model. Exactly, she should be a role model, exemplary exactly. to her life. Her life. And then I have a mm -hmm. little boy that just turned. 11 in July. You have a little boy that just yeah. turned 11? Yeah. 11 years? Yeah. And now Ooh. that he's old enough, like, he understands what's going on now. Right, right, like right, 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 right. And that's embarrassing, disappointing, like, mm -hmm. he asks these questions and you don't want to lie to him, but you don't want to be too honest. Right. I just want to get my shit together so that you know, I don't have to hide stuff from him. Right. Do you ever call him? What wood does he stay with? Um, he is with my boyfriend's parents. So your boyfriend is in Philly too? Yeah. He's right here? Yeah. So why are you by yourself right now? What's, what is he doing? We share a panhandling spot. So okay. I'll go out, make my money, and then mm -hmm. come down here. And when I leave to come down here, he takes takes over the spot. Oh. Basically keep other people out. <laughs> oh, okay. Because people will try to take your spot. Is he also from Delaware? Yeah. So you all moved here? Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. So, I had a question. I almost... Myra, she be Ma? Myra, she lost her arm? She has black hair? No. No? Not really. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh so, um... What was I about to say? So when you don't use drugs, how do you feel? The best way to explain it is it's like having the flu, but 10 times worse. You feel like you're throwing up, you're sweating, like you're hot, but you're cold. You know, by the time you put a hoodie on, you're taking it off because you're sweating. Mm -hmm. Upset stomach, headache, mm -hmm. nausea, mm -hmm. like everything that could be going wrong is going wrong. Right. And you got, you know, stuff like this going on. Mm -hmm. You know, it intensifies it by ten. Like wow. Because so I hear the drugs is about the only little tiny bit of relief you have until you go to the hospital and get it taken care of. So how do you, do you prefer the feeling of having drugs in your system or just be the way you are right now? I like the feeling of drugs, but. I also know, like, the underlying part of it is that it's masking something. If mm -hmm. I could go back to who I was before the drugs, just a natural, happy... Right. That is who I would want to be. Mm-hmm. Wow, wow, wow. So, um, you said you sleep uh, under the bridge? That's what you say? Under the bridge and stuff like that? Um, like the train station. Like the train stations. When it's I, raining and stuff like that. Yeah, I try not to stay in this area. What about like dangerous. something like shower, stuff like that? Where do you get the showers from? Um, they got a couple churches around here that oh, they you offer sign help. up for it. You sign up for it. Okay. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Does it treat you nice? Huh? Does it treat you nice? Yeah, like I said, we have our ups and downs. But, right. you know, 11 years, we're still sticking together. And being out here mm -hmm. and staying together, mm -hmm. especially when you're on drugs, like, right. That's hard. Wow. That's really hard. Wow. 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 That's amazing. That's amazing. Wow. So, uh, Shelby, I don't want to take your time, but uh, it was nice uh, talking to you and getting to know the side of your story. What would you have as an advice to the people of your age or the, to the young, to the youth who have not yet so far used drugs? 
educate yourself, but don't ever try it. Because I feel like you can't have too much exposure to something, mm -hmm. but you can't have too much non-exposure to it. Right. Like I was sheltered as a kid. I didn't know anything about drugs. So when I, you know, finally learned about it, you know, I was curious. Mm -hmm. But then you got the people that are openly exposed to it and they think it's normal. Right. So, you know, just educate yourself. Let me try a piece. Before you know it, the whole bag is gone. Yeah, you're like, well, that's pretty good. Right. Like, you feel sick, you ate too much. Uh huh. Man. Okay. You should have never done it. Okay. That's really incredible story. That's really, really, really incredible. Wow, 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 wow. So, like I said before, um,. You say people offer you some money sometimes, sometimes they don't. Isn't it really hard, like sometimes when you just don't have it, but you need it at the moment? Yeah. Huh? The hardest part about it is trying to look normal. Uh-huh. Like, you know, I have a bunch of regulars, people that see me every day and always give me a dollar or two. Okay. And I'm sure they probably know I'm a drug addict, but I don't want to just put it out there like that. And when you get really sick, like I said, you'll be sweating, shaking, can't sit still. Like, mm -hmm. like I feel like people would just want to avoid you. You just don't seem normal. And so, I don't I'm looking at your off. fingers. I'm seeing some scars. Is that the effect of xylazine or what that happens? Yeah. Can I sit one more time? What is it? Wow. Did you just shoot this morning? Did you yeah, shoot yourself I this morning? It. I got it take a wipe and go to it. It's uh -huh. a whole process. Uh-huh. Wow. But yeah, something about the uh, xylazine, the tranquilizer, something about it, it just, your body just does not agree with it. And mm -hmm. you're, like, your body doesn't know how to process it. Okay. So it, like, starts as a little water blister. Mm hmm And then turns into, you know, these little black things. Right. And then eventually, you know, they... The outreach people that come out here and ask if you want, you know, any housing or anything like that, you talk to them. Every time you talk to them, tell them to put your name down. And when you do that, once you've had so many contacts with them, they can, like, transfer you to somebody that will get you housing. Or the quickest way to do it, go into a shelter. Right. And once you're there for about 30 days, mm -hmm. they get you into housing super quick. Uh, is it sometimes dangerous on the street? What are the dangers you meet on the streets? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. uh, people trying to rob you. Mm -hmm. um, just a couple of days ago, somebody stabbed my boyfriend in the face. They tried to rob him in the stairwell. Mm -hmm. He wasn't trying to empty his pockets. They got tussling and mm -hmm. basically kind of fell on the knife. But I mean, people out here, they carry weapons, they carry guns. And the one thing about Kensington, Specifically,
talk to them, feel them, so at least they can share their story. But me just filming in the car and I post whatever and be like, I don't even know you. You right. know what I'm saying? That's why get, people get pissed off. Right. But also it's a way of approach. Like when I come talk to you, like, hey, hi, Jacqueline, Tara. Hey, how is your day going? How do you wake up in the morning? Do you ever guys eat breakfast, lunch, dinner? or? Uh, no, it's usually whatever we can get. Sometimes people bring food here, like um, different people. Actually, I just grab Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Can I see one? Yeah, it's different places we can go to eat. Kessington community. So guys, you can see this is uh, places they go to eat. Okay, Kessington community. So today it's just like the last bite. Someone sometimes took it. It's a good day, it's a good day. Wow, 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 wow. So if I'm just gonna ask you maybe one, two, three questions and I'll be done. If you're to advise anybody who has never been on the street, what would be your most, most um, key? Advice. Pack small. Um, always have something to be warm because it does get cold even at night time. Even if it's summer, it gets cold. No, I'm asking someone who has never been on the street, yeah. who has never had drugs. Um, someone who's just living with their parents. They have, they have no desire, but they want to get the influence. Protection. Always carry protection. Always. Protection. Um, You're going to be raped. Uh, always carry anything. anything. Pepper spray. Pepper spray anything. anything. So if you are saying people can rape you on everything. Yeah. Do these people, if they rape you, do they have protection? Do they have condoms or whatever no, it is? I don't know. I've never been. You've ne I know, I'm not saying you did. I'm um, saying, but that's happened on the street, right? I doubt it. I yeah. doubt it. They don't. I don't. Okay. Do, okay. I never have been. Okay. When you guys go away to sleep, is that a lot of males? Or just female? Um, Feminine oriented? Uh, a setup? It's both. It's both. It's both. both. Yeah. It's both. both. Yeah. yeah. Do you females also fight sometime when you're there together? Um, different people start fighting but it's mainly over drugs a lot of people fighting over drugs over drugs yeah. or money yeah. so how does money and come into fight stealing or something stealing stealing, stealing drugs stealing yeah. money mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah it's all like stealing like they stole robbing. basically all our stuff that I had went to before oh okay all of our money all of our our works everything wow yeah, wow well, you guys Jackie and Tara like I could tell you I came here yesterday Yesterday I had an interview. You see this tree here, the dry tree here, just underneath it, I had a lady. Her name is Shelby. Maybe you know her or not. She's kind of very, very skinny. Okay. She, um, she's from Delaware, and I was talking to her. So you know when I'm asking you questions, mm -hmm. I try to relate to how everybody is. You know, yeah. is no dissimilar. I mean, it's yeah. similar. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your story is almost the same. So what is the government doing? Like to help these people here based on your experience you've been here um nothing really i mean i don't think they're doing anything honestly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean there's nowhere really for us to sleep they don't let us sleep here at night sometimes they let us sleep here sometimes they don't mm -hmm. so then when we have to leave the park it's really hard because that's when you really get robbed or like messed do you talk to the cops sometimes no or they're just assholes they're just assholes. yeah she told me the same thing yesterday so if a if a cop comes here and they find you being attacked, are they gonna come through? Um, probably too late, like they too did late. when I got shot. Too so, late. for the most part, yes, for the most part, no. is yeah. is about what time they get there and whatever yeah. it is. Right. What do they do when they, they find really people, when, when they find you guys in altercation? How do they, oh, they separate they, or try to handle it? it. They, they just ignore it? it. Yeah. But let me tell you something funny. When I was driving yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm driving the red car. When I was driving yesterday, I got pulled over, right? Mm -hmm. So the cop is asking me about my registration of the car. You are bothered with my car here in Philadelphia right. when there's so much serious issue than that. Right. Which your car is registered, you know what I'm saying? Right. So you are bothering me, yeah. but people in the street here, people are bleeding. I saw somebody yeah. literally two blocks, somebody's bleeding. Right. The cops, you're, you're bothering me. He's not even caring yeah. about your money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doesn't. So either you are scared of the reality, you want to go through the easy way. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, like first thing I would come and see, hi guys, did you eat? That's one thing I want to make sure you get hydrated, you know, got water and stuff like that, right? Right. Yeah, you, you are bothering me. Wait, these people are here, like you. And I just have come to talk to Jacqueline before I met you, Tara, you know? Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, last question. What would be the advice for people you intending not to have, to be on the street? Oh man, there's a lot. Um, not to do drugs, yeah. not to get into the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. um, the lifestyle is what really screws you over the 
the mouth. I've mm -hmm. met a lot of people that come out here and they just get stuck out. Here. They get thrown. Yeah, they get out here and then they get. They're not even from here and they get stuck out here. So it's hard. Do you guys meet underage sometimes? Oh yes, occasionally. Not not as much, but no. occasionally. But you can see younger. You can tell when they're younger. You're like, I don't know. When I came here two years ago. I wasn't filming, I was just walking like a tourist just to see what it is before I started uh, filming and getting people's story and sharing them out so you can change other people's lives. They were very older version of people. Now it's very, very, very young people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Guys, I'm really, really appreciative for you guys what you did. And as I promised you, I promised her before, I'll give you something. I don't just like, I'm not giving because I've even interviewed, I'm giving because of the situation you're in. Yeah, at least give you something to go eat, go drink some water, you know what I'm saying? And because um, when I show these stories, some people always think uh, people are just mean. They just want right. to, you see what I'm taking my wallet out like this? They're like, you can't do that. They'll just come and rob you. I have my hands. I'm talking to you. Why would you come and rob no, me? No, I'm sharing your story. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I would stop. Yeah, that's just really crazy. <laughs> so you guys share this, man. Thank and uh, so yeah, you. share yourself, enjoy thank yourself, you, you know. So Share yourself, but oh, yeah, buy anything, whatever you want. Yeah, buy yourself, whatever you want. Unfortunately, I'll be leaving early in the morning tomorrow. I was only here for three days. I was just trying to share the story, talk to people on the ground. I don't like to judge, I don't like to, to override people's thoughts, but with mine, I like to share based on what they said, not what just I think of. Then from there, I can all make my assessment, you know. Yeah, I don't want to judge anybody, but you know, it's been a pleasure meeting you, you uh, Jackie Thank and Tara. You've you. been so much Thank nice you. to me, Thank okay? You. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Nice to so meet much. you, okay? Thank you so much. Have a blessing, stay away from violence, and uh, stay will. positive, Thank okay? Thank you so much. All right, All right. cheers. Bye.